OpenAI Agents SDK, a powerful agents framework released by OpenAI. It is restricted to use only OpenAI models. But we have a good news. Now we are able to create AI agents 100% local, private, using OpenAI Agents SDK, 100% free, using Olama. And I'm going to teach you how you can create a single agent, create a custom tool, create multiple agents, and create a user interface. First, we'll be creating a research or internet search agent capable of searching the internet. And we are going to provide a custom tool that is the internet search tool. Then that data is passed to the editor agent and finally we'll get the output. This is a basic example so that you can get started. I will put all the code and commands in the description below so you can just get started straight away. At the end, I will create a user interface like this and I'll teach you how you can create the same user interface. It's a news assistant. I can ask for latest AI news and at the back end, it's searching the internet, passing that to the editor agent and will give us an output as you can see here. Now let's get started. First step, make sure you go to olama.com and download olama. Next, we are going to use llama 3.2 model. So we are going to download llama 3.2 first. Open your terminal in your computer. Next, olama pull llama 3.2 and then click enter. This will download the latest Llama 3.2 model. Next, pip install OpenAI Agents and Chainlit. OpenAI Agents is the main AI agents package and Chainlit is for creating user interface. So after typing like this, click enter. Now installation is completed. Next, let's create a file called app.py. So this is the terminal command. Instead, you can right click, create new file, app.py. First, we'll be focusing on creating a single agent. Inside the file, from agents, import agent runner, OpenAI completions model and async OpenAI. Then we are going to initialize this OpenAI chat completion model function with the model Llama 3.2. Then we are defining, so this is the key line which integrates this with Olama. So this is the base URL to integrate this Olama. So after this, first creating the agent, agent equals, agent name, then instructions, then model. Then final result, runner run sync, create a meal plan for a week. After that, printing the result. That's it. Only this bit of code and the key changes here, where we set the model name Llama 3.2 and the base URL. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. And here is the output. Meal plan for a week, because that's what we asked here. Meal plan for a week. And the answer is here. The Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday meal plan. That is really nice. So that's the basic example. Next, creating a custom tool and multiple agents together. Let's do that. And in this example, first we are going to do the research or the internet search agent with the custom internet search tool that is DuckDuckGo search. Then the output from that research is passed to the editor agent and we'll get the output. So in your terminal, I'm also going to install another package called DuckDuckGo search. That's for using internet search. And now it's installed. Inside the file from DuckDuckGo search, import DDGS. Then same like before, importing agents, date time, for giving the time to get the latest news, then getting the current date. Now we are defining the completion model with Llama 3.2 and the base URL same as before. Now step number one is to create internet search tool. So here we are going to define a function called function tool. There we are creating a function called get news article. So this is like a decorator. So this we have imported that here at the top. So this get news article will use the DuckDuckGo search search the internet based on the provided topic and the current date so that the results are latest, then returning the results. A simple function just to search the internet. So whatever topic you provide, it will return the relevant latest news article. Step number two is to create AI agents. First is the news agent to fetch news. So we are providing name instruction. You provide the latest news articles and the tools is get news articles. So that is the function name. I'm just defining directly here and the model equals the model, same as before. Next, agent number two, that is the editor agent with instruction. Rewrite and give me a news article ready for publishing and then defining the model name. Now we are going to create the workflow. For that, I'm going to create a function called run news workflow. So here, the first step is to fetch news article using the first agent. So I'm just running the first agent, news agent, and that agent is going to fetch the news article when I provide the topic. Then we get the data from the first agent and passing it to the next agent. So raw news is passed to the next editor agent and we are running the editor agent like this. That is 
the step two in the workflow. Then the output from the editor agent is returned or printed. That's it. So literally the workflow is to first run the news agent, then pass the data to the editor agent and give the final answer. So that's what we see here. First, the news agent and then the editor agent and we'll get the output. And I'm going to run this function by just providing a topic for it to search. So the topic is AI. That's it. As a quick overview, first we create the internet search tool that is just a function using DuckDuckGo search. Next, we created two agents, news agent and editor agent. Third step, we made those agent to run using run sync function, running the first agent and running the second agent and finally returning the output. And here we are providing the topic that is AI. This AI will be passed to this run news workflow function. So AI will be passed here, that AI will be replaced here and we'll get the news about AI on the current date, that is today. So that's the quick overview. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python news.py and then click enter. Now running the news agent workflow, using DuckDuckGo search, it's searching the internet, getting the relevant information. Now we got the news articles and it's clearly formatted and we got the each individual news as well. So that is really nice. So now we have created multi agents and a custom tool to make it work. You can even change this custom tool to any tool to integrate any of your application, even your own custom application. Even you could make this call any API. Now the final step is to create the user interface. So I slightly modify the code. I'm just importing the news agent which we created, that is the news workflow. And whenever we type a message in the chatbot, that is a topic, the topic will be passed to the run news workflow. So that's what we created before run news workflow and whatever we type in the chat box will go as the topic and it will search for the results and return the results after passing that to two agents. So the whole on message function is to run the workflow with the topic and return the results. That's it. So next we have another decorator that is on chat start. So as soon as the UI opens, you will get this message. Welcome to the news assistant. That's it only this bit of code and we have created a user interface. Now I'm going to run this. In your terminal, chainlit run ui.py and then click enter. And that will automatically open a user interface like this. It's like a chatbot. Here you can see, welcome to the news assistant. So that's the on start message. Now here is on message. So whatever topic I type here, it will come and pass to those agents to search the internet and give us the final output. So let's do this. I'm going to say AI. So it's searching for news about AI. I had to refresh the page to get it working. And here's the final output. That is really nice. Now you are able to run this OpenAI Agents SDK completely for free locally on your computer without paying anyone. And I'm really excited about this. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like this AI agent, I also created another RAG agent using DeepSeek R1 running 100% local on your computer which I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.